Hello everyone, this is the day that the Lord has made and we will rejoice and be glad in it. The Bible says in Luke 8 verses 5 to 8, a sower went out to sow his seed and as he sowed some fell by the wayside and it was trodden down and the fowls of the air devoured it and some fell upon a rock and as soon as it was sprung up, it withered away because it lacked moisture. And some fell among thorns, and the thorns sprang up with it and choked it. And others fell on good ground and sprang up and bare fruit a hundredfold. Friends, in God's house, there are kingdom-minded people who are vessels of honor, sanctified and meet for his use. As, as written in 2 Timothy 2 verses 20 to 22. They are also spectators who listen to powerful teachings year after year, but have no intention whatsoever of putting them into practice. They are like the seed that fell by the wayside. But thanks be to God who sends rain on both the just and the unjust. Jesus sent away the multitude. I don't know about you, but I'd like to be among the inner circle of God. If what we've been doing in terms of sowing hasn't worked for us, it doesn't take rocket science to figure out that we ought to step up again and change our strategies. There are people who have no intention of being sowers no matter what they hear. There are also those who sincerely desire to be sowers in God's kingdom, but oftentimes find it difficult. The entrance of God's word give light and understanding unto the simple. I pray that this word will find a landing place in such hearts and spring up and bear a hundredfold fruit that will abide in the mighty name of Jesus. I'd like to start by saying this, as I minister to you, I minister to myself also iron sharpens iron please take this as one iron sharpening another friends a sower plans to sow a farmer deliberately puts aside his best yams for the sole purpose of sowing if at harvest he consumes all his yams then he will have nothing to sow and therefore nothing to harvest where there is a will there is a way it takes planning there is a saying that if you fail to plan, you plan to fail. We will not fail in the powerful name of Jesus. For example, if we know that um, our, our church is having a big program in four months from now, we should know based on the calendar and we start putting about $50 aside or even $20 aside every two weeks when we get paid. In four months time, we would have at least $300 that we can sow during the event. Now, let's imagine we had started doing this from the beginning of the year. We would have more, more than that to sow um, or any in any form of giving, you know, not just um, sowing during a program. It could be given to the poor or, you know, given to people less fortunate than us. Friends, let's face it. It's our failure to plan that causes us to get aggravated when money is being mentioned. If we plan to honor God with our first fruit, um, then towards the end of the year before, say around September and October, we can start putting away the amount that we cover our usual expenses from for the first two weeks of the year or week or month, depending on whatever measure we plan to use. Let's put God to the test and see if we will not see a definite change in our finances. Friends, we may have been vessels of wood in the area of sowing. Now is the time to become vessels of honor, sanctified and meet for the master's use. We may have been one of those that say, they've come again, no. Oh. <laughs> Anytime money is being mentioned in church, God is taking us from glory to glory. We, we may have made God's house a dollar store with our one dollar offering. From this point on, going forward, we will begin to give quality offerings in Jesus' name. As we give God our best, 
I have no doubt that he will in turn reserve his best for us. I pray in the mighty name of Jesus that we will enjoy the dew of heaven and the fatness of the earth. I pray that pressed down, shaken together and running over, God shall cause men to give unto our bosom. I pray in the mighty name of Jesus that there shall be a flood of blessings and supernatural abundance in our lives. In the mighty name of Jesus, remain blessed in Jesus' name. This word of exhortation is actually an excerpt from my ebook titled the key to god's treasure other interesting topics in this ebook include a little shall become a thousand give god your best cast your bread upon the water label your seed and much more friends you can get this inspirational ebook as a free gift with your order of any other of my ebooks uh, my ebooks cost five dollars. Um, send me a message if you're interested. Um, I will see you in my next video. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Have a blessed day.